हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अदिति टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड अ फिक्शन बुक टू यू नेम्ड फॉर एवर इज जस्ट अ वाइल हुज ऑथर इज शुभम सिन्हा चैप्टर थ्री द शॉक वी वी सिटिंग इन साइड आर पिट्स होम आई टोल्ड हिम हाउ आई रिसीव्ड सब डायरी एंड एवरीथिंग डेट हैड हैपन टिल देन वट वॉट ही टोल्ड अस ब्लू आवर माइंड शब्द वॉज डेड हाउ डिड ई डाई एंड वेन आई आस्ट आई गॉट द न्यूज ऑफ इज डेथ अ वीक अगो He went to Kerala with his family on vacation. Ten days ago, they went to Chirai Beach near Kochi. There, he dived in the ocean to save a ten-year-old girl who was drowning, and no one else was around to help her. He did not know how to swim, but still he went. After a while, the girl was rescued by some people. When they saw her, Shabd was not with her. She told that Shabd made her wear his life jacket, and he told her to try to get back to the shore. He is right behind her, but the people who rescued the girl did not find him. They searched for him for two days, but even his body was not found. Locals on the beach suspected that his body got drowned very far and deep in ocean. There are sharks and other fishes like that in the ocean, so he was presumed dead after two days when his body was not found. Arpit said, "There was moisture in his eyes as he finished telling us that I remembered something from the diary." He said to Sanskriti once if he would have given a choice then he would like to die saving someone's life that girl was alive because of sab i saw ushika she also had tears in her eyes it happens when we read a novel we got connected with the character of the story we are able to feel their emotion in our heart even when we know that it's a fiction but in our case we knew that it was a real story something was real but if he drowned in the ocean 10 days ago then how did i get his diary 3 days ago in my office i asked i sent it actually a day before going to kerala shab came to meet me i came home on vacation and he wanted to meet me before going to kerala he bought his diary with him and told me about everything he wanted to get it published he wanted sanskriti to come back to her he said this would make him realize his love for her and when he was going back to his home he forgot his diary here in a hurry in the evening he called and told me to keep it when he will come back from kerala then he will collect it from my house but when i got the news of his death i don't know what to do with it he wanted to get it published so i just searched on net about the best novel publication there i got your company's name and address so i just sent it to you he said so you did not know that shop didn't complete the story i asked what he didn't complete it he didn't tell me that and i did not read it before sending it to you maybe he forgot to tell me that because when he came to meet me he was in a hurry as he had to pack arpit said so it was a merely a coincidence that his diary came to me it was incomplete had it been sent to any other person in any other publication it might have ended up in a junk because no one would take so much pain in going to the depth of an unfinished story i got connected to the story because i am from rachi and an alumnus of the same college as his there was a photograph of arpit with a boy in the photo frame on the table arpit saw me looking at it that sub he said he was a boy of around 20 or 21 years of average height he was pretty smart he was smiling in the pic did sub find out anything about who attacked him i asked arpit no but we suspected a girl samira she was his friend and was in his college but in mass communication department she was a mystery herself arpit said yeah we know sub wrote about her in the diary We went to the college we found out that she took admission in the college but never attended any class I told him what that means I was right I told Shab that something was wrong about her it's clear she would be the one who planned the attacks on Shab he said but why she was his friend right and they did not know each other before meeting in Goa Ishika said I don't know whatever it was I don't care now my friend is not in this world now he said as a tear drop came out of his eyes there was nothing we could do sub was gone and the mystery of his story was gone with him i felt sad for him he loved sanskriti so much 
He was writing his story only to surprise her and to make her happy. Does Sanskriti know about this? I asked him. No, actually inside the diary, I found a note. I guess Sabd wanted to give it to her. Sanskriti took admission in BIT Misra this year. It is an engineering college just 20 kilometers from Rachi. I found out from some common old friends of Sabd and hers that she is coming to Rachi at a shopping mall with her friends. I am going there today to give her that. Sabd would have wanted her to have this. He said, May I see that note? Isika said. Arpit picked out a piece of paper from his project and gave it to her. She read it for a while and I saw that she had tears in her eyes. She gave it to me to read. I read it. What was written on the paper was very heart touching. Can we come with you? Ishika asked. Okay, Arpit said. We reached the place in 20 minutes. We were outside, only hoping to catch her as soon as she comes. We waited from 15 minutes. She is here, Arpit said, pointing at a group of boys and girls. Who is she? I asked. The one in pink top, Arpit said. I saw her. She was wearing a pink top and blue jeans and was laughing with her friends while walking. She seemed very happy. I have never met her. She doesn't even know me. What will I say to her? Arpit said nervously. I'll give it to her, Ishika said while looking straight at Sanskriti. She was looking determined. I knew Ishika very well. She was a very emotional person and the story left a deep impact on her. She went straight to her. Excuse me, Sanskriti, she said. Yes, Sanskriti replied. I need to talk to you for a minute, Ishika said. Who are you? How do you know me? Sanskriti said. All her friends did not notice it and they moved ahead without her. I am a friend of Sabd. Sabd is not in this world anymore. He wanted you to have this, Isika said while giving her the piece of paper. What? Sanskriti said in shock. Tears came out of her eyes and just then a friend of her came back to her. What are you doing back here? Her friend said to Sanskriti and dragged her inside the mall by her hand. Sanskriti was going with her, but she had no emotion on her face. She was reading the note. There was a poem written on the note. I wonder what will happen if you will give me the chance. My love will make a way and our love will enhance. Just think about the possibilities, the things we will procure. Again in your arms, I will feel like I am secure. I wonder what will happen if you will give me the chance. Finally. I will be able to get out of the trance. Remember the days when we roam around on my scooty and when we sit together, I used to admire your beauty. Remember the popcorn where we went to see the movie and in between when we kissed, the feeling was so groovy. Don't forget the top flow where we found our love. It was so awesome, our souls were so above. On my birthday, you proposed me on your knees. I feel so languish. How quickly the time flees. Don't leave me. I love you truly. Just give me one chance. I'll keep you happy fully. This hurts this pain. Will it ever go away? Just make me believe that everything will be okay. I promise I'll never stop loving you ever. Even after dying, I will be with you forever. When the rain will come, you will feel me on your cheeks like the first ray of the sun and in the cool morning breeze. I wonder... Chapter 4 The Story Unfold Work fast everybody, we are short on time. I said to everyone in the office before entering into my cabin. In three days, we were to publish our last novel for the year. So everyone was doing their best to complete work in time. We came back from Rachi a week before. We were disappointed by what we got to know there. But after coming back to Delhi, our lives were now back on routine. How much more time? We will be late. Ishika said as I sat on my chair. I promised her to take her out for dinner today. So she came to my office directly after her shift so that we could go together from there. 10 minutes more, just wrapping up everything. I said. My office phone rang. It was Neharika, the receptionist in the office. Rihant, there is a guy here. He wants to meet you, she said. No, no, it's past office hour. I'm just about to leave. Whoever he is, tell him to come tomorrow, I said. I knew that I could not meet anyone right now because if I was any more late, Ishika would kill me with her own hands. Yes, 
डेट्स वॉट आई वॉज टेलिंग हिम बट ही सेड यू नो हिम हिज नेम इज सब सहाय निहारिका सेड आई वॉज टर्न टू हेयर डैट सेंड हिम इन आई सेड एंड कट द कॉल वॉट हैपन इशिका आस्ट सी माई रिएक्शन फ्रॉम द फोन कॉल सब दिस हेयर टू मीट मी आई सेड वट द हेल हाउ इज नॉट पॉसिबल इशिका वॉज इक्वली शॉक्ड एज आई वॉज एट द सेम टाइम द गेट ऑफ माई केविन ओपन एंड अ बॉय एंटर्ड ही वॉज वेयरिंग अ डेनिम जीन्स and white shirt and his one hand was plastered hanging from his neck it was him i recognized him from the photograph i saw at arpit's home it was like i was saw a ghost in front of me i am assuming you are rehan and you must be shika he asked you dead how did you shika wasn't able to complete her sentence both of us were in shock and how did you find us i said i contacted arpit 4 days back He told me about you and how you tracked him with the help of my diary. He said, "Can you explain us how you are and not dead?" I said, "Yes, I'll get to that. But first, you tell me something. How did you like my story?" He said, "It was interesting, but it's incomplete. Nothing got cleared in the end. A lot of unusual things happened in the story, but all of it left us confused." I said, "I came here to give you the missing link of the story." He said while handing me a file what's this Ishika said everything will be cleared in this just read it sub said i opened the file inside there were some pages clipped in the file Ishika also came beside me to read it i started reading so this is the part b consisting of two chapters thank you so much for listening it and i hope it is understandable to you and next one chapter is uploaded tomorrow at 10 pm if you enjoy watching my videos do like subscribe and share with your family and friends thank you